Hello everyone, and welcome back to welcome Planet to Zoo. Tasker. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary, where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well... Apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. Right and yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> anyway, that's why I'm determined. Planet Zoo is getting a little too real, safe. guys. <laughs> if we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> all right. What do you think of Madagascar then? Bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. I, I don't yet have control of the camera. There we go. I am in control. My controls may or may not work properly, but we'll figure that out later. All right, let's actually, you know what I want to do? I want to increase the volume. Let's take a little bit. Okay, hopefully that's fine. All right. <sighs> Highlighted area. Red ruffed lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Bornean orangutans. Okay. I kind of wanted to actually see one of them, though. Escaped. He's escaped. It said he escaped. He's still in his enclosure. This is also a ring-tailed lemur. Is it here? Sal. A red ruffed lemur, yeah. So these are what we were actually supposed to be looking at. They seem pretty cute. I think I've seen these guys in a zoo. I do enjoy going to zoos. All right. Enough of that. Locate the next highlighted area. This zoo seems smaller, which is just far more uh, like readily accepted by my brain. All right. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvelous creature. They're always a big favorite at any zoo they feature in, and they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Oh, why don't you take a better look at them? Open up their information panel and go into the animal camera. Hello. <coughs> Aren't they just incredible? When you're ready, let's go and have a look-see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. All right, bonobos. This zoo is pretty cool. I would love to see like a like mainly primate zoo. Oh dear! It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. Alarms are going off. One of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Done. Good. Now open the animals tab. Done. And click on box all animals to box up the remaining bonobos. Okay. Now, we'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo. But it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an ideal situation. No, it's so, not. We'll need to hire a replacement, Sharpish. Go right. into the zoo section and then into the staff management area. This feels like something we should be pausing the game for. I'm just saying. Like the bonobo is doing who knows what. Here, 
But there's no the, time to go yeah. looking at their particulars at the moment. Hire a vet. Hire a vet. Caretakers. Keepers. Security guards. Vendors. Oh, it's just down here. Hire a now, veterinarian. Click on one of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Done. Great. Now let's deal with our SKP before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alerts to jump to the escaped bonobo. A dangerous then, animal. Click on the call vet button to call the vet over to capture it. Wait, hold up. I just one, why am I still oh, okay, that's a relief. <laughs> So while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't escape again. I'm not back ready. Over there. Also, why am I still... Okay, he's gone. Escaped animals. So we, like, really can't see disabled by scenario. Looks like you can pay to just immediately capture them. So we don't really get to see anything about him because he's escaped, I guess. We can't, like, have tabs on him. So our vet's dealing with that. The barrier statuses are very damaged. They need a mechanic. As you can see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Where has Select it the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Okay. To delete the broken barrier, press it. No. I'm really not trying to build a path. Okay, do I go into barriers? How do I delete it? I am slightly confused. Can I replay that dialogue? As you can see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Edit barrier. So how do I delete it? Climb proof, habitat perimeter, curve top, height mode, angle snap. Press delete. Great, but where is that? This has to be like the easiest thing and I don't get it. Can I just like... Okay. I finally managed to select it. There we go. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. That way the bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Nicely done! And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? <laughs> the poor mites will get sad if we leave them in there for too long. I have no idea what I did. Select the habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. And then open the Animals tab. And finally, click on Unbox All Animals to let them out. I expect some of them are fair bursting for the toilet. Okay, so, we did it. It turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. Yeah. 
You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble, and fall down. Yeah, like before they do. you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. That's not good. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. Hire a mechanic and then click on a path to place them in the zoo. Done. And then click on the path again to hire a second mechanic. As you can see, you don't have to go back into staff management if you're hiring lots of the same type of staff member. Clearly. Makes sense. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Of course he does. He's a very long-winded man. Oh, I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escaped bonobo. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. And yes. more importantly, without the animal stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. I really hope see, that that hasn't happened before. That better be the plot of a movie. Animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information for our education resources, enhanced breeding programs, and improvements to food quality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the animal's food, not the vet's. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, research is a key part of running your zoo. Clearly. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research center. And once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. Where is our place for a research center? Zoo research sounds really, really cool. It's something I would love to get to do someday. But clearly I'm incapable of finding a location for one. Aha! There's something here. So, you're aware? Now, you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research center. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. Yay, shell. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. I don't remember how to place or how to rotate it. Raise lower, rotate Z. work now that we have a brand spanking new research center we can give our vets something to do in there oh by the way it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs that said you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel but let's not worry about that just now let's not worry so let's get our vet researching ringtail lemurs go into the zoo section and select vet research I can't just click on the building? I feel like I should just be able to click on the building, but okay. Vet research. Here, I'm not going to remember where any of these the buttons are. Present in your zoo, and also all the potential diseases that can occur. Now, it's probably a lot of those. Your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Drag and drop my vet. Here you go. Actually, thinking about it. I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. Let's head over there and answer, so our guests can learn all about the furry little delights. Furry little delights. Let's go. I do like lemurs. I've seen lemurs in a few zoos. They're cute. They have... Let's see. Do they have it here? No, they don't. Let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or, if you like, pop them down on a stand. So, like, one thing that I've seen in a lot of zoos is ring-tailed lemurs having, like, a water barrier around their 
enclosure because they don't swim, supposedly. Turn on a line to surface to make placing the boards easier. Oh, we need to place it over here. Yeah! Okay, now that they've been put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. This one has a barrier in front of it. Glad for and that. From the drop down list, select ring tailed lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. When you link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. All right, well, they seem okay. to be liking these now boards. Now the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. There you go. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs, just like you did with the education boards. We don't need to like link them specifically to the education boards because like don't we kind of want those to go together? I mean the game can probably take care of that for us, but in the real world, you know, it's something you'd need to be concerned about. Fantastic! Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much Somebody just threw it. trash. Or Ooh. it's coins. It looks as though our vet has completed their research on They're donating. Lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. Go on, collect your research rewards. Just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. All right, we've got three items over one species. Well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, Let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Let's. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. And you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. They have none. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. It's so cute. Oh, can we turn around? Next, I wanna see click on the terrain tab. Sorry, I'm looking at the lemurs running. Oh, he always running away from us. That's sad. All right, we got to give him some stuff to climb on though, because otherwise he's going to real be sad. I don't want him to be sad. Might be a girl. It's a girl. I don't want her to be sad. Open the terrain uh, tab. Now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. Well, because because you've given them that. got a climbing frame blueprint built for you, so you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. They certainly do keep us on our toes. So we can just... Oh, that's a great climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. Do you know what would make them even happier though? Nicer food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? I you do like nice food. better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Ring-tailed lemur. Click on the animals tab. Lovely. Now select the animals tab. All right, we did so, it. A new climbing frame and better food. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. <laughs> now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. 
releasing animals into the wild. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo, because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. Seems very so, important. With that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. That ring-tailed lemur was sitting kind of funkily. <laughs> All right, we're okay. almost done I'd like with the silver. I'd like you to find Ageng, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. Ageng. Release to the wild. Lifespan remaining four stars. Fertility remaining five stars. Fertility gene five stars. Conservation status four and a half stars. You cannot undo this action. Well, it says we have to, so bye, Agung. I don't think we I ever know, really knew you. Sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Young, strong, and fertile. Excellent work there. You've definitely got potential, you know. I have potential. Lucky me. Ah, I see you've been doing some homework. Although, it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. I imagine I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more algebra. Tortoises. That's okay, also probably true so for me. so far we've done a lot of work with habitat animals. But now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Exhibit. Let's build a brand new exhibit. I've marked an area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? All right, so we're going to do exhibits now instead of just habitats. Something that I didn't know was going to be any different. But I'm going to do this in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sister, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.